What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and welcome to another episode of GBGW. Now, for all the iOS users who unfortunately did not get to play GBGW yesterday for a full 20, 25, 26 and a half hours, um, it actually was released again, so the update was released finally at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, so... Uh, after the release, we were compensated with a lot of goodies, so I believe it was 2,000 Haro chips, 3 EN Recovery Large, um, and then 13, I think it was 13 um, Standard Capsule tickets, and I forgot the last one, um, I can't recall, but... Um, but that was very interesting in regards to the amount of compensation that iOS users got. Um, for Android users, however, you guys actually got 500 Haro chips. Um, still pretty, pretty cool that they provided you guys compensation. Um, but I know that there are some Android users that are pretty furious because of the fact that iOS users um, got better compensations than Android users. Um, but just keep into consideration that the iOS users basically could not play for a full 26 and a half hours. Meanwhile, Android users were able to play uh, once the update was released for them. So they got a bunch more hours of game time put into them. Um, but other than that, uh, if you look at the screen, you can currently see the Haro is jumping up and down, uh, the eyes are flashing red. So that indicates, um, that indicates that you have a free draw. So let's go ahead and just get into that. And the free draw that I have is not the re-rise. Um, and before I go ahead and do the free draw, I just want to talk about the re-rise daily capsule. So with that, at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, um, from yesterday actually uh which is going to be today as well uh till the october 1st uh you'll be able to roll 10 times for free now that is absolutely cool because you know you're getting the opportunity to get more tier 4 parts with this so i absolutely love that um sokai festival as well ends october 1st at 8 p.m pacific daylight time uh freedom and justice once they're gone, they're gone until they re-release them. Uh, AI pilots, uh, they disappear from the AI pilot pickup capsule and go into the standard AI pilot capsule. So uh, that's pretty cool. You're still able to get both the AI pilots there. But here we are, standard Gunpla part capsule, one time free every 11 hours. So uh, if you are a dedicated player and you constantly keep track of your time every 11 hours you roll um you actually will be able to get a bunch of rolls so uh fifth 14 rolls plus one so 15 free rolls in a whole week um so right now i have one free roll so let's go ahead and get into that so let's go ahead free yes touch and we have a tier 2 part which nobody wants to see and that suggests the cannon so that's pretty cool now what I will be doing right now is I will be pulling more uh, Sokai festival parts so I did pull the freedom Gundam uh, legs last night and I just did one times ten roll and I got very lucky because the freedom Gundam legs are pretty darn cool so all right, let's go ahead and pull yes. And touch. So we don't have any tier four parts this time. So let's skip that. Uh, eh. Try again. All right. Touch. And oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay, tier 4, tier 4, let's see. Legs. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's a weapon? Oh! <laughs> the Freedom Gundam Beam Rifle! Yes! Awesome! Okay, so the Rose Gundam Chest. That I think that's pretty much it for me. Knowing my luck. 
bear guy. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. That is absolutely awesome. Freedom Gundam Beam Rifle. So this is actually my second tier four um, rifle. That's absolutely awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so that's another 50% uh, for me. Um, I'll go ahead and roll one more time. And see what we get here. Touch. <laughs> Another tier 4. Alright. Absolutely excited. Okay, so back to the 1 tier 4 again. Which is probably the last part. Who's backpack? Death Scythe. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's awesome. Alright, so... I'm out of... Times 10 rolls. That's good enough for me. Um, once it's 1pm, I will be doing the Times 10 uh, re-rise roll. And I actually can't wait for that. Alright, so there are a few things that came out... Uh, with the update, so... Uh, for one, the Haro jumping up and down was one of them, indicating that you have a free uh, roll. Uh, Mission-wise. Um, in regards to the mission, Stargazer is out. Uh, so you no longer have to do, uh, you know, do this many amount of uh, normal, hard, very hard, stuff like that to gain rewards. It's based off a point system, which is... I guess it's pretty simple now that I've played it a little bit. Um, and the interesting thing with this is that um, when you're doing the missions, you get a, a set amount of coins. So it doesn't fluctuate up or down or anything like that. Uh, EX mission, if you clear it, 9 coins. That's pretty much it. I can't recall very hard. I think it's the same thing because of the uh, energy usage. But... Um, but this time, the EX mission is pretty simple. Uh, I was able to auto-run it multiple times without dying, and I was kind of disappointed because of how simple it is. I thought it'd be a little harder, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and go to shop, and I will have videos talking about um, more stuff in detail. So... Uh, blueprint is the new thing that came out. Uh, so as you can see, these are blueprints that you attach onto the frame of your Gunpla and stuff like that. You have parts that you can, I mean, items that you can craft and parts that you can craft once they are released. But uh, I'll get into that on another video. Uh, coin exchange shop. So Sword Coin Exchange ends tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Encounter Coin Exchange will end on October 3rd, 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, Arena and Platinum Coin Exchange will be re-rolling at... Um, on the 30th at 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So I am ready for that. Uh, other than that... The only other thing in here to talk about right now is the new story mission. So this is going to be something that I will be um, playing along with you guys in another video. Uh, I'll basically have a story mission chapter type of thing going on. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, pretty cool. Notice wise, let's go ahead and go to notices. All right, so all right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So right at, from the bottom. Uh, important. Certain devices are no longer supported. Thank you for playing Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Since release, a number of players have reported that they have been unable to properly play the game on their devices after successfully downloading the game. We deeply apologize for inconveniencing those who have been unable to play the game. Per our internal investigation into the matter, the following devices cannot properly play Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare, even when they're installed OS supports the game because of the specs on the device. We confirm that it 
that in some cases the tutorial section of the game cannot be completed or the game itself cannot be started. Affected devices. So these are all the affected devices here. So uh, the Zenfone 3 Max, uh, Zenpad 8.0, Priori 5, uh, Arrows, MO3 Arrows, yeah. So all of these devices are no longer supported. Um, I see some Galaxies here and some LG phones. Uh, L Let's see, LG style uh, L03K, LG X screen. Um, Galaxy A8, Galaxy Note Edge, uh, Galaxy S5, thank god I got rid of that. Um, but yeah, all these phones are currently unable to support the game, so uh, we are unfortunately unable to address the issues on our end due to the causing, uh, due to the cause being system requirements for the game. We regret to inform that the aforementioned devices are no longer supported for Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. This also applies to devices listed above that can currently play the game properly. Hmm. Interesting. As of October 10th, 2019, 12 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the aforementioned devices will be unable to download the game from the Google Play Store or upgrade to newer versions due to these findings. We deeply regret any inconvenience caused and sincerely apologize to those affected. We cannot guarantee that devices that are not listed above can play the game. There are, uh, there may be cases in which devices not listed above cannot play the game properly even with the recommended system requirements due to circumstances in which the game is played and those surrounding the user's device. We ask for your kind understanding. Thank you for supporting Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. So basically what they're saying is that some devices, even though they're not listed on here, um, won't be able to handle the game due to the fact that the the hardware of the phone probably just can't support it and stuff like that. Uh, so I guess it's understandable, uh, but at the same time, it's kind of like, ugh, you know, for those who've already been playing the game, um, suddenly to have it not supported, it's kind of like, well, that's a big slap in the face, you know? Uh, you might as well get slapped by Captain Bright at this point. But um, anyway, it is very unfortunate for Android users especially, since there are a lot of phones that are no longer supported. Um, so, like they said, October 10th at midnight, any new updates that come out for the game for those who have these phones currently, you're unable to install um, the updates. So that is terrible. And it's just like a big what the heck. All right, so here we go. Uh, update regarding errors following the September 24th maintenance. Thank you for playing Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Following the update on September 24th, 2019, the following errors were reported. Uh, reported errors. Upon opening the Rerise pre-broadcast campaign free daily capsule times 10, the word sample is shown in the text field where the remaining time until the next free capsule times 10 can be performed is meant to be displayed. The correct time for the daily reset is 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. There are some cases where equipped parts buttons in the collection are not displayed or cause the game to crash when tapped. There are some cases where tutorials will reappear after already having been experienced, which did happen to me last night once I've completely installed everything in regards to the update, which was kind of interesting and I just kind of breezed right through it. Uh, the beam resistant and physical resistant parameters on Justice Gundam Tier 4 Gunpla parts and lamented anti-beam shield Justice Tier 4 were inadvertently swapped. Interesting. Uh, the correct parameters for these parts are physical resistance 0 and high beam resistance. What? Okay. Uh, if you acquired or upgraded the above parts during September 25th, uh, 2019, 1am Pacific Daylight Time to uh, 721am Pacific Daylight Time, 
uh, prior to the correction period, the parameters will be incorrect. We will perform a data correction at a later date to resolve this issue. We deeply apologize for any incon inconvenience caused. That's very interesting that they messed up on the parameters for those parts, but okay. Uh, apology for the version 1.1 update maintenance extension. Thank you for playing Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. We deeply apologize for any inconvenience caused by the extended maintenance on September 25th. We also offer our sincere apologies to iOS users who were unable to play the game for an extended duration of time due to the App Store update delay. Uh, as such, we will be sending compensation packages to players as an apology for the inconvenience. You Current events will also be extended to in order to make up for the time the game was unavailable and the time number 4 arena will be reopened. Uh, maintenance periods. iOS, uh, basically, I, like I said, ended at 8.30 Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, Android, you guys actually got lucky and it opened at 1am. <laughs> so, that is... I guess that's um, the difference between iOS and Android users, uh, the fact that you guys were able to experience the game and the update firsthand, meanwhile iOS users sat in the dark. Um, but compensation packages, there may be a delay before your items are delivered. Compensation details, available to iOS users, 2000 hardware chips, 3 energy recovery strong, oh I thought it was large but okay, strong, um, 13 ca standard capsule tickets. 50 arena coins and 2,000 friend points. Available for Android users, 500 hardware chips. Players eligible, eligible for compensation. Players who started the game prior to September 25th, 2019, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, per claim period until October 26th, 2019, 7.59 a.m. All right, so uh, iOS users, these were basically the total amount of compensation that we got and then android users 500 hardware chips that's pretty much it uh event extension details encounter with the stargazer event duration from 2000 uh from september 25th uh to october 3rd and this will be ex okay so this is the normal the normal uh period um October 3rd, 7.59 Pacific Daylight Time. For, okay. Uh, Bulwark Sword will be ending on the 27th at 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time now. Uh, time number 4 Arena. Due to the, the delay of the updated version of the game appearing in the iOS App Store, the time number 4 Arena will be reopened on September 29th, uh, 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. It's opened right now. Uh, the cur currently underway time number 4 arena will end at September 29th, 1pm Pacific Daylight Time. Titles and rewards will remain the same for both time number 4 arena durations and will be available for both. Interesting, because arena is currently open. Let's go and take a look at that. Yeah, arena is open. Arena is open. That's very interesting, unless if they actually closed it. Um, or I could be I glitched out, or something like that. Uh, let's see here, is there anything? Anything else? Nope. Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will have videos in regards to the event. Um, the EX mission for the events and stuff like that with story mode or story chapter 7 as well as talking about blueprints and stuff like that uh, in my upcoming videos. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I will have a little short clip of myself doing the times 10 re-rise roll uh, at the end of this. So I do appreciate you guys for sticking around watching this video. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out for GBGW, make sure to give my videos a like. Uh, comment in the videos what you would like to see or any questions you have, I'll go and answer them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys are up to date with all my new videos that are posted on every weekday unless otherwise stated on my social media accounts. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.
Okay, so it's 1 p.m. now. Um, well, actually, a little bit over 1. Haro's jumping up and down. Let's go ahead and get that started. And as you can see, capsule times 10, one time free, available. Tap on that, yes. And let's see what we get. Now, chances are, tier 4, not happening. <laughs> tier 4! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I've been waiting for the Kemper Lakes for the longest time now. Hmm. I guess one tier four. The norm. Ill strike chest. <laughs> oh my god. That is awesome. I am absolutely loving my polls right now. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.